Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Notion and Airtable. The first thing I'm going to focus on are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I'll focus on main features and then I'm going to compare pricing plans. So let's start. Now, Airtable and Notion are completely two different tools. And I'll be damn honest, I wouldn't use Notion uh, for project management. I would use Notion for personal development and for my own projects. Airtable, on the other hand, is as same as complex as Notion. I don't know what was that sentence, but it just went went that way. Uh, but it's much better on project management. I will explain you exactly why. So when you would go to Notion, Notion is not that easy to get into. Uh, if you go here, yes, you can create tables. Yes, you can create columns. But to learn Notion, it's going to take time. I also recommend checking a guy called August Bradley and his YouTube channel because he's focusing really good on how to go deep into the notion and how to connect things with each other. But in Airtable, let me show you Airtable how it works. So Airtable, when you would create a workspace on your project, you have simple tasks here. But also when you look on Airtable, it's complex too. So both of these tools, uh, it's going to take you time to learn them. Then you can simply click plus here and you have multiple options to choose from percentage to go with a formulas and everything and use it. But there are differences and let me show you which one are. That in Airtable, you have test schedule, you have shared team calendars, team dashboards, time tracking, resource management. This is something that you don't have in Notion, file sharing and external billing and invoicing. So. These are the things which are really important and which can be useful in project management. Then you're going to like simple grid here, create a form and go with the calendar and gallery here and Kanban. So just simple project management tool. I can edit simple new record here as a task name, new task. I can edit as a subtask here, design time estimate. You can add simple field here if you want to to it, look up barcode and really play around it. So yes, save. And here we got a new task. You can simply assign it to someone. And it's pretty much it. Now the first task, that's pretty much it, how it works. Now to go further, uh, to pricing plans, notion offers it a free version for zero dollars and for plenty of people it's enough then you're going to see the pricing plans of our table again the free version that you can use uh, then you're going to like they have the attachment space per base three gigabytes five gigabytes 20 gigabytes and it's up to like what you actually want and what you actually need right but still in my eyes using asana is effective much more effective comparing to our table but this depends what you actually want. If you want to go deep into the program and use it, all right. But Airtable and Notion are not easy programs to get to be mastering, right? So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, I know this was a quick video, but these are the basics of the whole Notion versus Airtable. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye.